I'm sure many of you have been there. You find a product that seems like it could be your million dollar winner. You add it to your store, maybe even build an entire store around it, invest in organic and paid traffic, and then the results are lower than expected. The truth is, guesswork is risky. That's why it's so important to validate your product ideas with data before going all in. So in this video, I'll show you how to do exactly that using the Zeke Analytics Product Explorer. It's a powerful tool that can save you time on testing and help you make smarter product decisions by showing you what's actually working in other Shopify stores. So here's what we'll cover in this video. How to use the Product Explorer to validate product ideas. How to master the filters to get results tailored to your business model, how to use it for competitor research and to understand product pricing for maximum profitability, how to identify product trends early and stay ahead of the competition, how to find competitors in your niche and take inspiration from strategies that are working for them. By the end of this video, you'll be able to make smarter product decisions based on data, not guesswork. All right, let's get started. Okay, so one of the best features of the Zeke Product Explorer tool is that it helps you to validate any product idea that you come across. It could be a product you saw on social media or even something that randomly popped into your head. Either way, this tool lets you see if it's actually selling in other Shopify stores or if it's just the hype and low sales from buyers. That alone can save you a lot of time and money. Let's say you're scrolling through TikTok for product inspiration. A great hashtag to check is hashtag TikTok made me buy it. Tons of trending products show up under that tag and it's where marketers and creators showcase what they're trying to sell. First up, the portable ice ball maker. The TikTok video for this product has almost 4 million likes, which is crazy. And when you watch it, it's easy to see why. It's super visual, satisfying to use, and has a kind of cool, giftable vibe. It definitely feels like a winning product just based on the video appeal. Then there's the mini printer. This one caught me off guard. I'd never seen it before, but it's actually really interesting. It's a small handheld printer that lets you create mini labels in just seconds. Now, just from looking at them, both products seem like they're great ideas. They're visually interesting, they look useful, and you can imagine people buying them. But before adding them to your store, let's do what most people don't do validate them. I'll start with the portable ice ball maker. From the Zeke main dashboard, I will make sure I'm in the Shopify marketplace. Now I'll click into the product explorer tool, the one with the target icon. Once it opens, I just type in portable ice ball maker. Here's a quick tip. Always search by the most common name people use for the product. Keep it simple. And for this kind of validation, you don't need to change the filters. It's better to get a wide view. You can use the filters if you specifically are looking for print on demand products or dropshipping only stores. But for a wider view of this product niche, I will keep all of the filters untouched. So I hit search and as you can see, this product doesn't have great results. The best performing Shopify store selling this product only made 11 sales in the past 30 days. It tells us that even though this product looks great on TikTok with millions of views, it's not converting into actual sales for other Shopify sellers. And this is exactly why validation is so important. Without doing this check, you might have built an entire ad campaign, spent money on traffic, or even built a whole store around a product that simply doesn't sell. Now, if you want to check whether it's worth selling this item, you have two options. You can dig deeper by clicking the spy icon on any of the stores to see how they're presenting the product. Maybe there's a lesson in what not to do, or perhaps there's a better angle to explore. For example, their social media posts or videos might be low quality and you could drive better, more targeted traffic by doing things differently. Or you can simply move on and find another product with stronger data, which is generally the better option. Now let's check the second product we found, 
the mini printer. I'll do the same thing. Paste the product name into the search bar and hit search. All right, the numbers here look much better. As you can see, most of the stores selling this product were able to make around 50 sales in the past 30 days, and some even reached 100 or over 200 sales. This data clearly shows that the mini printer has strong demand and could be a great product to sell in your online store. From here, if you decide to move forward with this product, your next step should be to analyze the top performing stores that are already selling it. Just click on the spy icon and you'll be taken to the store sales tracker. There you can study their best practices, check which Shopify apps they are using to improve customer experience, review their social media strategies, and even source the product from AliExpress or Alibaba and see your potential profit per sale from each product you can source. So there you have it. We looked at two promising products and by relying on data instead of guesswork, we discovered that one of them is actually performing well across multiple stores while the other one isn't. All right, now that we've seen how easy it is to validate product ideas without using any advanced filters, let's take it a step further and learn how to master the filters inside the product research tool. Using these filters will help you find results that are a perfect match for your business model whether you're running a general store, a niche brand, or something in between. It's about finding products that align with your product line, traffic strategy, and audience. Let's quickly go over the filters available in this tool. Search by keywords. Use this field to search for a specific product or niche. Exclude keyword. Want to remove certain types of results? For example, if you're looking for sports products, but want to exclude yoga related items, just enter sport in the search bar and yoga in the exclude field. Country, filter products by the country the store is located in. This is helpful if you want to focus on stores from the US, UK, Canada, or other regions relevant to your market. Language, filter by the main language the store uses ideal for targeting specific language markets. Currency, filter stores based on the currency they use for pricing. Sales date range, set a custom time frame to analyze product performance over a specific period, such as the last seven, 14, 30, or 60 days. Sales, enter a minimum or maximum number of units sold to narrow down products based on actual sales volume. Revenue, filter by the total sales revenue a product has generated so you can focus only on proven winners. Now, on the right side of the dashboard, you'll find additional filters to narrow down by store type. You can choose to only see products sold by dropshipping stores, one product stores, print on demand stores, or other types. This is super helpful when you want to align with a specific business model. And lastly, the ads channels filters. This lets you find stores that are actively running paid ads on specific platforms like Meta, Facebook, TikTok, Pinterest, or Snapchat. This is especially useful if you're already running ads on one of these platforms and want to find products that are working well with paid traffic strategies. Now let me show you how to use these filters to your own advantage. I will show you some proven filter combinations you can use. Find products with a high success rate by adding the niche name you want, such as sport, and checking the one product store filter, you can uncover a gold mine. Products that are carefully vetted by the store owner. These products are most often top performers because the store owner built an entire store around them. Find print on demand products. Same here. You can add the niche name you want to focus on for finding print on demand products or not add a niche at all and simply check the print on demand box under store type. Zeke's algorithm knows how to differentiate these products from others, giving you a great view 
of what works well. Finding top trending products. If you want to find top performing trending products, you can use the following filters. Set the revenue to a minimum of $20,000 and in ads channels, choose TikTok. This will show you products that are generating high sales and being promoted with TikTok paid ads, known as a launch pad for many trending products. Products with high profit margin and high sales. To find products with a high profit margin, simply set a minimum selling price of $35 and a minimum of 70 sales in the last 30 days. In general, products sold for over $35 often have sourcing options that allow for around 70% profit margins. Products for beginners or low price. If you're a beginner and want to test products for drop shipping, look for products with a lower selling price. Set a maximum product price of $25 and a minimum of 70 sales. To ensure these are drop shipping friendly, check the product type as drop shipping and one product store. Stores selling locally in your desired country. If you're planning to sell products in specific countries and want to check their success in that region, add a niche name, preferably broad to get more results. And in the country filter, select the country or countries you plan to target. This will show you product data from stores selling in those regions. Dropshipping friendly products. If you're a dropshipper looking for winning products to add to your store, enter a niche or product name. If you have one, check dropshipping and one product store in the product type and set the minimum revenue of $5,000 in the past 30 days. This will surface top performing dropshipping products products. Easy scaling dropshipping products. Check dropshipping and one product store in product type and under ads channel select meta and TikTok. This will show you products that other sellers are actively investing in on the two most scalable paid ads platforms. High ticket, trendy products for dropshipping. Set a minimum price of $70 Check dropshipping and one product store and set a minimum of 50 sales in the past 30 days. Fast rising products for dropshipping. This is one of my favorite filters. To find fast rising products that are starting to perform well in a short time, set the sales date range to the last seven days, add a minimum of 30 sales, and select drop shipping and one product store in the product type. Now, another useful way to use this tool is to increase your profit margins and better understand the recommended selling price for your products. You can do this by identifying the price range at which the product is consistently selling well. Let's take the jellyfish lamp as an example, a product that's currently performing well on several Shopify stores. We'll use the product explorer to figure out the ideal price range for selling it. So I'll type jellyfish lamp into the product explorer and hit search. Now you want to identify the stores that have successfully sold this product. In this case, I can see that most of the stores are pricing it around $39 and are performing well. That gives you a reliable benchmark for your own pricing strategy, but you can also take it a step further. For example, I found a store that managed to sell 433 units in the past 30 days, but at a higher price of $49.99. That's $10 more than the average market price. So the question is, what is this store doing differently that allows them to charge more and still generate strong sales? This is where the real insights come in. You can open the store and study their best practices. What's their background, color, and overall theme? How is their logo designed? What kind of CTAs are they using? Are there discounts or promo codes? How does the selling page look like? Are they using GIFs, custom images, or original content? Once you've reviewed the store visually, click on the spy icon next to the listing to access a deep data analysis the kind of information that Shopify doesn't provide. You'll be able to check what Shopify apps and themes they're using, what other products are being sold, what type of store is it, one product, niche store, 
or general. You can analyze their social media presence and even source this product from AliExpress or Alibaba using the item finder and of course more. From there you can take inspiration from what's working and apply those proven tactics to your own store and confidently sell the product at a higher price. Another great way to use the product explorer is by applying a powerful filter that helps you identify winning products that haven't been sold yet in the USA. The idea is simple if we can spot a product that's performing well in other markets markets but hasn't entered the US yet, there's a high chance we can introduce it early, source it from the suppliers that ships worldwide, and be one of the first to sell it in the US market. To do this, go to the product explorer and apply the following filters. Set a minimum revenue of $5,000. Check the product type as dropshipping and one store product. In the country filter, select multiple countries, preferably large markets like countries in Europe, Canada, and Australia, but leave the USA unchecked. Then hit search. Here's an example we found, a blossom box, a product that isn't yet familiar in the US, but is generating strong sales in the UK. Sourcing this product could give us a high profit margin. And since it hasn't entered the US market, it's real opportunity to stand out. From there, you can scale by running paid ads, targeting US audiences and creating organic content on social media to build traction. In this part of the video, I'm going to guide you through how to find competitors in your niche and take inspiration from them to apply to your own business. I'll show you how to do this for dropshipping stores as well as print on demand stores. Let's start by identifying dropshipping stores that sell speakers. To do this, open product explorer tool and type in speaker. Then check the product types. Dropshipping, one product store and others. Now hit search. From here, browse the results. Once you find a product that you're already selling or thinking of adding to your store, like this one, click on the store URL to review how the store presents the product. Ask yourself, what makes this store appealing? What can I adopt or improve from my own store? Then go deeper by clicking on the spy icon to open the store sales tracker. This will show you key data like what Shopify apps and theme the store is using. What other products are being sold? What type of store is it? one product niche or general, their social media presence, and more. Now, if you're running a print on demand store, here's how you can find competitors in your niche. First, enter the niche in the search box. For example, let's type in pet and check only the print on demand product type, then click search. I'm now seeing lots of results. Let's look at this product. It sold seven times in the last 30 days and the design is simple, something you could easily create using free design tools like Canva. What I do next is visit the store to study their best practices, then hit the spy icon to uncover more of their best selling designs. For example, maybe they're also selling towels, t-shirts, or other print-on-demand products that are performing well. You can use the data to create similar products for your store, products that already have proven demand in the market. All right, that brings us to the end of this training session. I hope that by now you have a better understanding of how to use the Product Explorer to your advantage and how it can help you boost your online store's performance. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next training session.